beautiful people this is. This deck right here, it's an absolutely amazing deck. I am not over exaggerating or anything like that. I want you to see the top row. I went ahead and kind of like organized it so you guys can kind of like break it down and you can see just the goodness, the true goodness here. Now, balloon, obvious. Uh, it, it's obvious like this is kind of like a lava loon deck. It's a little expensive on the side that you're not using an elixir collector. But here's the thing, we're also using a baby dragon for splash damage uh, for follow up, either um, in front of the balloon to be tanking for a little bit, or the lava hound, of course, that's usually later in later elixir m mode. And of course, mega minion. Why am I using mega minion to set like three elixir minions or something like that? I am glad you asked. Nothing in my deck is worth zapping except for the inferno tower. That's the only thing that you could like reset that you get good value for a zap. Some people try to zap the balloon when it gets close but I'm like dude nothing is locked onto that balloon because very rarely do I just send the balloon in so whenever you get that balloon toward the tower and it takes that tower down it just gets one hit off and you're like oh that was so worth it <laughs> the knight I have the knight just to kite troops like uh, barbarians pekkas things like that if I don't have my my inferno tower in rotation otherwise it's just these two cards that are the defense game I have these I I did have the log earlier because I was like oh we'll just zap stuff or no I had fire spirits earlier so you can use fire spirits if you don't have any of this stuff um, but but yeah I, I don't I don't recommend it because people would play minion horde behind the baby dragon when the baby dragon wasn't locked on them and then the fire spirits would only take out like half of them or they they would quickly place a valkyrie down underneath their uh what do you call it minion horde and then i couldn't even take it down once i switched to this setup when i had arrows instead oh my gosh the results were amazing as you can see here in grand challenge we're doing really good I actually lost three times in a row the other day. But we're not gonna mention that in this video. Let's go ahead and hop right into a battle so you guys can actually see it live. I could play some replays and stuff, but whenever people talk over replays, I'm like, you know, that's just downright boring. All right, did he just zap my tower? Okay. You do you, man. I'll do me. Maybe he's already rage quitting? This guy's gonna put up a real fight. Yeah, someone definitely rage quit there. I mean, he totally came back and we just, we crushed him. <sighs> Three crowns. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm used to it. Okay, here's the thing. This is not a good starting hand for me. Oh, get there in time. Oh, thank you, senorita. Oh no, mamacita. Oh no. Actually, I better get that down quick. Um, holy cow, this is actually gonna really hurt. Swat that minion down! Swat the minion down! Shoot! Shoot! He's using my old deck against me and it's working really well! No! Swat him again! Swat him again! <laughs> oh, alright. So we kind of traded there. <laughs> wow! Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do a really quick like push here. And then we're gonna follow up with Baby Dragon. I feel like we don't need anything else other than Baby Dragon. Um, maybe like a little zap here. I didn't even hit all of them. That's amazing. I am amazing. Wow! Holy cow. Okay, the reason that I didn't follow up with Balloon here, I figured I could take the tower out without having to waste the Balloon. Uh, Baby Dragon was one elixir less. He did that really big thing there. He had to use a lot on defense. We took that tower out. We're happy and healthy. Things are looking good for us, guys. <laughs> Guys, and as you can tell, I'm not an amazing player. Oh my gosh, she's gonna take this tower down too. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, he's gonna take that tower out. Okay, actually, he might not, yeah, he's, he's gonna take that tower out. Okay, that kind of frustrated me there. I'm gonna show you guys one actual freaking win with this deck now. I'm a little upset because I feel like he didn't play that that well, but you don't need to when it's that kind of a deck. I Why did I place my Inferno Tower there instead of here? I don't know, because that's what you're supposed to do. There we go, okay, sweet. All right, baby. Swat him! Dang it, he didn't even swat him! I think we did good there? I, I feel like I wasted those arrows when I played them. Maybe. I don't know. Drop it! Yes! Drop it like it's hot! Yes! Okay, okay. Sweet, sweet Caroline. Come on, baby. Come on, baby cakes. 
Come on, baby cakes. Come on, please hit the tower. Yes, I got hits off on the tower on that. Oh my gosh, we just won. We just won. Okay, we're gonna place that down. I actually don't know why I placed that down. I'm actually, he's starting to cycle me. He's starting to cycle me. That's okay. I'm gonna cycle him too. I'm gonna cycle him too, baby. I'm gonna cycle him too. Mm, suck it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of how you beat next Expo deck. Maybe you can play a little bit better than me, but that's basically how you do it, guys. Um, go ahead, feel free to copy this deck again. Here it is for you to, to feast your your face on. Please let me know what you like down below. Let me know if you want to see more of this deck or other kind of crazy weird decks that oddly work. It's just that most people don't have good air defense. And go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here. New videos every day kind of like for the most part. <laughs> Love smack that like button. Mm. As always, keep it fresh, keep it clean. This is Zeke McQueen repping the class scene and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Do it, do it.